What's up, guys? Absolutely beast here, bringing you uh, a great uh, sniper gameplay on uh, Call of Duty World War II. So, um, I have something to say off the bat um, that has to do with YouTube up. and uh, the disgusting business model and shame that YouTube is right now. Um, so, if you don't want to hear about that, go ahead and just skip to the three-minute mark. Um, that's when I start talking about the actual gameplay. Uh, or if you want to just watch the great sniper gameplay, you can just mute uh, the video until the three minute mark when I actually get on topic. So, um, as a small creator, I have Making to say this facts. though everybody knows about the adpocalypse, everybody knows about the debacle, you know, where the guy was like doing some Nazi propaganda videos and, and YouTube ads were playing next to it, and people boycotted and all this kind of stuff. What a joke! So, my favorite person on YouTube, uh, the Strad Man, um, has an incredibly, incredible a car channel, incredibly, incredibly clean channel, has never sworn, has never talked about questionable content, um, and specifically gears his content so that so that dads can watch their videos with their kids around and not feel like they have to worry about it. And he's extremely clean, and he's been getting his videos demonetized, and he was talking about how you know, once you get that first demonetization, then it actually becomes more common um, that your next videos will be demonetized. And that really struck with me, like, man, dude, if a guy like that, who, you know, for all intents and purposes, you know, he could be Mormon, for all we know. He's so clean and so squeaky clean. And, uh, yeah, so now uh, it's been happening with me. So the last five of my last seven videos I've uploaded in the last week um, have been demonetized, considered not suitable for all advertisers, which to me is an absolute joke. I go out of my way to, to not swear, to not use profanity, to not talk about anything controversial, to not stir up any pots that don't need to be stirred up. And for me to get demonetized like that is ridiculous. Now, I can understand it might be the, the you know, the Call of Duty gameplay, the guns and the violence and the World War II stuff. I, I get that. Um, however, uh, now it happened yesterday with my Formula One video, my F1 2017 video. That's the first time I've ever played that game, and it's a game of me freaking racing a car. Just talking about my, my, just... My opinions on the game and what I think of it, there's nothing even remotely controversial in there. I can't even believe that that would be demonetized. So to, so to sit here and say, you know, how do, you, how do they expect small channels to grow? How do they expect anybody to grow a channel on YouTube? Or how do they expect anyone in their right mind to take on uh, the responsibility of trying to create YouTube videos when you're just going to put them out there? And they're going to get demonetized. Now, that in the first, if, if you try to manually review the video, they will not review a video that has less than 1,000 views in the last seven days. So for someone like me who's a small creator, that means all my videos for the first day are being demonetized, which is where most of the views come from. So I'm absolutely beside myself. I almost put my fist in my computer screen when I read that. So that being said, let me try and compartmentalize that and get rid of it because it's going it'll, to, it'll ruin, <laughs> it'll ruin everything. So, um, this is me sniping. Uh, I put up a video uh, two days ago of me sniping, and uh, I kind of just discovered the snipers. Um, I, you know, obviously a lot of people use them and stuff, and, and they seem like they're pretty good, but I just, generally I don't, like, if I take the game seriously, I don't snipe. Um, like, Modern Warfare Remastered, I didn't take very seriously, and I sniped a lot in that game, because I like, you know, sniping's fun for me. Um, it's kind of why I like PUBG, uh, which is... A game I've been playing recently, and I, and I love that because it's it's a game where like you don't just run around with a submachine gun and get in people's face. Like it's a very tactical game. You have to play the long game. You have to you know know where people are going to be. You have to try to set yourself up and be stealthy. And I love that. And so uh, that's one of the things I love about sniping. So this game, um, look at that guy. I just sniped him right out of midair. He thought he was being all funny, just diving, and I ended up sniping him right out of the air. So this game, I go 15 and three. We do lose. Um, but, you know, if you can get a 5.0 kill, that's sniping. I mean, that's pretty... Oh, I'll take that. You know, loss, yeah, that sucks. But, you know, to go plus 12 and to have a, you know, 5.0 kill death with 15 kills, I'll, I'll take that. So, that was a pretty good one right there, too. So, right now, I'm using the Springfield. Um, I was using the uh, Lee Enfield, which uh, has a 10-round magazine or 10-round clip. Um, a little bit less powerful than this gun, though. This is the Springfield um, M1903. And uh, I, I like this one a little bit better. Um, most people, uh, it seems, are using the Car 98, but that's only available after you prestige uh, the Mountain Division, uh, which gives you a Sniper Sharpshooter perk, which I think reduces the idle sway. I'm not 100% sure on that. I, I won't, I'm not saying that 100%, but that's what I think it does. Um, and, yeah, you get a few other Sniper perks in there. Um, that you can use, and you get like you know, you get hidden from kill streaks and stuff like that, so that's pretty cool. Um, but uh, I haven't prestiged it yet, I haven't used it enough yet, so uh, for now, I'm using the Springfield. And I don't mind it. Um, the only issue is uh, the clip is a little small at five. I mean, 
if that's been average for most other Call of Duties. Yeah, that's a good one too. That guy's trying to get me. Uh, but you know, for like most other Call of Duties, five uh, clips, five uh, bullets in the clip is not uh, significant. You know, or, well, I mean, that's all of them, so it's not significant that that seems small, but coming from using 10, you know, 5 can feel like like really small sometimes. That was a good one, too. So, I don't know. I, I, I just like sniping. I, I enjoy it. Um, For me, though, it's not usually viable because, I mean, I'm doing some work right here on these guys, but it's not really viable generally because you don't get as much score, um, and I tend to care a little more about score per minute. Uh just because, you know, you don't level up very fast. Like, when the game's first out and stuff, you don't level up fast at all uh, if you're just sitting here sniping. Now, of course, in this case, it, it makes sense because it's 15 and 3, but um, on another, you know, sniper game, you might go 12 and 3, or you might go 9 and 3, and that's just not, for me, that's not worth it to sit back and, and have that kind of thing. So, I don't know. It was really fun. Um, what I've noticed on this game, as you can see right here, is, like, once you dominate, I mean, I've known this for, you know, years on Call of Duty, but once you dominate a little area when you're sniping, people just stop going that way. So, for me, now I sort of snipe myself out of, you know, contention because oh, that's a nice one, too, over the shoulder. Um, but this one, you know, these guys aren't these guys aren't coming up here anymore. They're not, they're not popping up down there because I was just beating them. And uh, that guy, he knows. He, he popped up and he's like, oh, that guy's sniping down there. So in this case, I was I was doing enough work to them that they were they were a little bit shy to come on this side, and uh, this, this is the side to snipe on, uh, and that was terrible right there. I mean, he hit me, so it's kind of like he kind of ruined it. But see, there's another one right there, and uh, now I call these mortars. This is one of the best mortars I've called in. Wait, no, okay, not the right mortars. I thought that was the three piece that I got. Yeah. I love that. This is one of the best mortars I've called in, and then I get nothing. Yeah, no. No, no, no. Uh, but yeah, this is a place to snipe, you know, for me. Uh, yeah, I thought I, I thought that should have been a kill. But, um, but luckily, I get it with a jump snipe, which is just it's so cool, man. There's just something so satisfying about doing that. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you shouldn't be able to do that. But, you know, I, I mean, I like sniping. And it's not like it's an easy shot, but... I think that's I think that's fun. So yeah, I mean we're real close as you can see, but when you're you know when you're sniping, you're you're not really. It's kind of hard to choose between that guy or the other guy down at the other side. So I ended up just not getting it, and we end up losing. Um, which you know that's the that's the risk you take when you snipe. And uh, generally, I'm all about the win. But um, yeah, so this this gun brings up a little another thing that I've said, which is uh, there, there's only two things that I feel need adjusting in this game, other than just some ongoing stability issues, ongoing issues with parties. I'm still having an issue with people where when I play with them in a party, um, in between games, they're not able to see any of the lobby screen. They can't go in and adjust their classes. Um, they can't go in uh, and set up a class or check their XP. They can't go into the headquarters. And this is an ongoing problem. It's been ongoing for like a week, week and a half. Uh, and it's it's really a problem. It's, it's a problem that um, has persisted despite resetting Xboxes, resetting games, resetting modems. Um, for, a, you know, like I said, more than a week, week and a half probably, maybe even two weeks. It's been persisting, and, um, you know, he made the comment to me, my friend made the comment to me, he doesn't even he doesn't even think they're aware of it, and honestly, I would probably agree with that. I would think they're probably not even aware that there's something like that going on. Um, I don't know. I don't even know what that is. But aside from that, there's only two things that need addressing in this game. One is the snipers. Um, they are far too powerful. It's far too easy to get kills with the snipers. And there's a lot of people using snipers, and they become really overused. Um, as you, I mean, you know, I'm someone that doesn't snipe, and so yeah, I mean, and that, that actually ends up being the game when it kill cam at the end, and it looked much more professional there, but at the end, it doesn't it doesn't. So see, like that, like let's look at this, okay? This guy's using a M1941, the lowest damage, highest fire, least range assault rifle. And he gets me quicker than I can even fire a shot with the sniper. Yet, in other scenarios, guys quickscope me and miss, and then quickscope me a second time, and I'm hitting them the whole time with the STG, and somehow they're beating me. So it's just, it's really, it's wildly inconsistent, and it's just something that's kind of driving a wedge between me and the game, because I want to love the game, and I, I just, it's been really hard for me to play the last few days, because there's just so much stuff like that going on that I just can't even can't even get over um, but the two things that need addressing in the game in my opinion again server issues stability issues they still they have a lot of a long way to go with that 
Um, I mean, they've gotten some of the way there, um, but there's still way more, you know, more to do, more to go. But the two things you need addressing, one's the snipers. They're too powerful. They're too easy to get kills with. And, uh, yeah, they're just, they're too much. Um, but the second thing is the incendiary shotgun rounds. I get that it's a whole division, and I get that, you know, it's a whole division perk to give you incendiary shotgun rounds, but the fact that someone can shoot you and not even hit you cleanly and still kill you is absolutely ridiculous. Like, they hit you with the, with, like, say, a pump action, and the gun will... See, I thought I let in perfectly right there. I guess not, though. Uh, the way someone can hit you with uh, one shot from a shotgun, and it can be a, you know, it could be, it's not going to be a full straight-on shot where they hit you right in the chest. Like, it could be like an 80% shot, and then you'll still die because there's, you know, there's whatever amount of just, you know, bullcrap incendiary shotgun rounds. It gets you three or sometimes even four hits out of the bullets, which is just ridiculous. See, again, I thought that should have been a good shot. I don't know. I don't, I don't even pretend to know how any of this stuff works, honestly. I just play the game and try to enjoy it as much as I can, which has been a little bit harder for me recently, I'll admit. Um, and, yeah, I mean, it's just, it has been. And so I don't, I don't know exactly what's going on. I mean, I'm probably not taking it as seriously. It's starting to, you know, the new the new game factor is starting to wear off a little bit. And even this weekend, it's a double XP weekend for four days. And, you know, I've, I've barely played, like, four hours. You know, I had probably... Maybe 10, maybe 10 hours, maybe even 12 hours potential to play. Uh, and I've played like four because I just, it's not, it's not doing it for me right now. So, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. The, the sniping's fun uh, when it's fun, but, uh, certain, you know, it's only certain maps. It's like this one and I may start sniping on the USS Texas. I'm not really sure. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. So anyway, I think I'll just leave it there. I don't really have much more to say, so I appreciate you guys being here. appreciate your support, checking out all my videos. Um, there's plenty of videos going back a couple weeks on the One X that are all in 4K. So there's Forza 7, there's uh, Call of Duty, there's a bunch of each, and then there's a, a video that I put up yesterday, which was a F1 2017. Uh, that was my first time racing on that. And uh, yeah, plenty of videos before that too. If you check the backlog of videos on my channel, there's over 200, I think there's 225 videos plus now on my channel, so there's a lot back there. Um, if you guys want to watch some of that, I, I will warn you that the quality of content of that earlier stuff is nothing like it is now. Um, but, I mean, gameplay-wise and uh, just production-wise. But, yeah, that's just kind of how it goes. So, uh, those are there. If you guys want to check them out, make sure you subscribe. If you like my content, check back soon. I will see you guys next time. Thank you. Appreciate it. Under the grave! Recon searching for targets. Damn it, I'm out. Out of ammo. Counterintelligence airborne.
aircraft standing by. Counterintelligence aircraft ready. Showed real grit out there. Damn fine work, soldier. <laughs>